Now, some um, Christians, the Catholic priests and other groups around the world, they believe or they teach <laughs> that celibacy is a good thing, that a man should abstain from a woman and just concentrate on spiritual things in service to God. But that's not really God's plan for us. Celibacy is not part of his plan for us. Right from the beginning, you go forth and multiply, right? replenish the earth. It means have babies, have children. So it means that God's desire is for the earth to be populated by families. So the man and the woman come together and they have children and they create a family. And then those children marry and have children. And so the families mushroom and get bigger and bigger until we have nations and we have the world as we know it today. So celibacy, abstaining from sex, is not really part of God's plan. Uh, there may be one or two individuals, right, rare among us, that have a particular calling of God in their life. And so having a woman or a, or a man, if they're a woman, and being married, married and all that stuff and tied down, maybe that's not part of their calling. But I wouldn't want to put a percentage on it, but that's no point something, right? It's, it's No, God's plan is for us to procreate, to have children, which means marriage. Not sex outside, outside of marriage, that's fornication. We don't believe in that. Not adultery, because that's sex with somebody else when you are married, and we don't believe in that. But we believe in sex between a man and a woman. That's the God-ordained way. Not being celibate. So if you're in a church or in a denomination that preaches this, Look at the scriptures. See where God says that we must be celibate. There isn't anywhere that God said that we must be celibate. Six to six books in the Bible. Take your time. Go through all the verses, over 31,000 plus verses. Come back and tell me if you find one that says we must be celibate. No. God has never instructed that to man in any nation, in any time ever in history, all of human history. We must not have, not be celibate. We must enjoy the married, marital bed between a man and a woman and enjoy it and love each other and have passion amongst each other and produce babies, not just for that, because we can just enjoy, it for, enjoy each other just for the sake of it, not to, to have children. Right? It's for us to do. It's not for us to be celibate. That's not the Bible teaching.